led to this woman. I, I, she has some kind of control over Curtis Black. We'll hear a few words from Curtis Black. I don't think I've heard him talk before, so let's 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 give it up for she Curtis Black. Exactly. Two and a half months since I was last in the spring. The last time I was in the spring, I was the House of Pain champion, and my title was stolen from me because of a referee, and so therefore I had to teach you a lesson. What? That lesson revolved around a lot of violence that you all didn't like. What? It's so important for management to They take upon themselves to suspend me. Out of all the violence that's been going on this past summer, ironically, right? <laughs> so, so since I've been back, I've kind of observed a lot of things like this global domination. They got Cat Daddy in their corner. They got Fuego, who's the new heavyweight champion, that I really don't care about because sooner or later, Fuego, you and I, we're gonna dance in this ring again. And trust me, I'm gonna beat you one, two, three. So that again, he actually won the House of Pain championship in a triple threat. And one on with Fuego. Fans getting into Curtis Black in the ring. You shut your mouth. Because see, I remember you. Last time, I destroyed your brother, didn't I? Yeah, I dealt with him. So now, here we are. Ready to rock and roll. So I'm putting everybody on notice in the back. Whether you have a championship, you don't have a championship. One way or the other, when you step into the screen, you're going to get dealt with. You're going to get dealt with in a very violent way. And it goes for the tag team champions as well. Curtis Black, I had to jump through hoops to get your suspension lifted. Please don't make me regret it. <laughs> you ain't going to have to regret nothing. You go, okay, you can regret. It's the bodies that I'm going to be laying waste. And his opponent. Weighing in at 145 pounds, Rush Kennedy. Now the man who just joined me a few minutes ago, Rush Kennedy, is now stepping in the ring with Curtis Black. Now remember, he just had a little fist fight with the Syrian Sheik, and I'll tell you one thing. He don't want to get in a fist fight with Curtis Black. I tell you one thing, while we're waiting on Rush Kennedy to come into the ring, let me remind you one time, if you have a dream of stepping in the squared circle, the Crossroads House of Pain has different wrestling sessions where you can come in and train. So, look on our website, on our Facebook, and you can find out where exactly they join. Or next time you're at a show, stop by and ask one of us. We'll tell you how to get it. And we'll let you introduce you to one of our trainers. But I'll tell you one thing, it is great to see Curtis Black in the ring. All I know is I'm still trying to find out who this mysterious woman who has been coming to the ring with Curtis Black since he has came. I don't know if she can talk. I try to conduct interviews with her and it just doesn't happen. All right. If everyone is wondering who I'm talking to to the side, we got a young man who is training at the Crossroad House of Pain right now. And he's enjoying himself helping us with the music tonight. So I'm telling him a little bit about our company and everything, but like this match right here will solidify what this company is. And that is actually hard hitting wrestling action. And these two personify what hard hitting wrestling action is. Exactly. Respect, good nature.
Ladies and gentlemen, what a treat. The former AWS light heavyweight champion and possible prospect of global domination, Tyler Blaze has joined me in the commentary seat. First off, you know, let's just go ahead and let's break a little kayfabe. Congratulations, but let's just talk about this action real quick. You know, House of Pain, former House of Pain champion, Curtis Black, is in the ring. You could be a contender for the House of Pain championship. Technically, right now, I kind of already am, because I'm still owed my rematch with Davey Joe. Well, he was supposed to be here tonight, but, well, I guess Wesley Williams came back wanting revenge after, you know. And so, you, you're saying Dirty head. Joe is scared. He, he wins the belt, and he just leaves. I mean, he wants the one that wants to cry like a little baby, and, you know, here we are today. You know, here we are today. I mean, he ain't here. He's, he's not here. And, and, and Price I mean, is in the pudding. I mean, I guess he's scared, you know, to find out who the real is. Hard to say, man, a professional wrestling really is, you know. But I mean, other than that, I mean, we got two future talent right here in the ring: right? Curtis Black and Rush Kennedy. You know? I was saying earlier that this match right here personifies what AWS is, and that's hard hitting wrestling action. You're hard hitting in Curtis Black, who could just, frankly, just knock you out, and then Rush Kennedy doing his best ring of honor the honor code breaking but right now talk about breaking that knee of his probably could be broken right now oh yeah curtis is really gonna take out that leg you know rush is gonna be feeling that tomorrow he's following that old anderson mentality a three-legged table does not stand that's exactly what he is doing to rush kennedy right here but the one thing i'm worried about is this get what what is he doing? He, he just came to our commentary table to grab something. Still going after that. Oh, a chop up right oh, yeah. behind the knee. Curtis has got this in the bag. He, I'm not he, really a big fan of Rush Kennedy, you know. He, I don't really see eye to eye in that man. Well, we we know about your long him. friendship with the Syrian chief, so I definitely can understand that. But one thing, could there be a friendship between, well, we thought there was going to be a friendship between J.C. Wolf and yourself, and then I guess you decided to go to the dark side. Were you trying to prove something to Michael King while he was out there? Well, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Michael King was there to watch at the end of the day. I was just really pissed off because, you know, Dirty Joe not being able to be here. And, you know, so when it comes here, I'm going to keep taking people out one by one, no matter who AWS puts in front of me. There That's you go. going to keep happening regardless whether the commissioner wants to find me or nothing. I don't care. That's going to keep happening until that rematch happens here at the AWS House of Pain for that House of Pain championship. Well, one thing that was announced earlier by the new AWS owner, uh, which, by the way, once again, thank you, Mr. Wolf, for giving me a job after you bought out all my stocks and everything so I could so I could work again I appreciate that he announced a new AWS Southern heavyweight championship so you're dangling between a light heavyweight and a heavyweight what do you think about this battle royal coming up could you be a future Southern heavyweight champion I know you're you know you're hailing from Canada so I mean would you be willing to wear a southern title I mean you know I come in I do what I gotta do I mean, my goal is to eventually become the AWS heavyweight champion. But, I mean, well, hey, these people don't like me, I don't like them. And regardless of what happens, I ain't never going to like these people from here in America. So we have a couple more matches coming up a little later on, and we'll get back to this Curtis Black and Rush Kennedy, but we have a two out of three falls match. Full rope, a kendo stick, and then a street fight. Who you got in that match? With Bubba Hog and Ronnie Earl. I mean, I'm going to put my money on Bubba Hog. Out of these two, Bubba Hog is a veteran. He does have the advantage with the knowledge of being in that ring. And with that being said, I just got to put my money on Bubba Hog. He has the experience. He's been in the ring a lot longer than Ronnie York. Besides, oh, hearing, hearing from our, our new uh, rookie over here. Since, since we got the rookie over here, rookie, introduce yourself. What's your name? Casual Fan. What is it? Casual Fan. Casual fanning. What kind of name is that? Yeah, because he's a casual fan. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, okay. 
Man, whenever talk, you're ready. I tell you what, you it, this kid you never know is, if you're gonna be next. That is, that is exactly true. So casual, you're looking at this match with this as well. You know, you got Curtis Black just putting it in Rush Canyon. Rush Canyon coming with an hour so whipping that hair back. What's her name? Oh yeah, Willow Smith whipping that hair back and forth. <laughs> some of some of you youngsters don't understand that reference, but you know, we're keeping it here. Curtis like going right after that knee. That's the one thing you need to learn here. Is you need to watch it, see how he's taking out that knee. It's called the old Anderson effect. It's called the three-legged table does not stand. You pick a part and you take it out. Well, another thing I personally have to say about this match was on social media, Curtis Black wanted to make a statement to me. The rightful and true number one contender for the AWS House of Fame Championship. Talking about I have to go through him first. We'll see. He's another one that was afraid to show up. And so here we are today. I'm the one that took out Wesley Williams. I took out JC Wolf. And if I have to, and if he does get in my way, I'm going to take out Curtis Black. And until I get my hands on Dirty Joe, it's going to keep happening. So the commissioner can keep on throwing those fines at me all she wants. But she ain't going to see a dime from me. You know what the one thing that I love about not owning this company anymore? I don't have to deal with this stuff anymore. I can just sit back, talk, and... Oh, oh, oh this mysterious woman. Oh, Rush Kennedy going after the mysterious woman that is out with Curtis Black. Irish whip into the corner. Rush going... Oh, a sling blade. Rush Kennedy is going at it. He's trying to get that... Oh, nice clothes on. Trying to get that blood back in that knee so you get it going. Back elbow, I'm telling you what. Oh, here we go. Oh, going to the back elbow from Curtis Black. Irish whip rolling. What is he going to do? Oh, a nice European uppercut into the corner. She did say her first word. Oh. Oh, we're going to talk about one other thing. Earlier, we saw Rush Kennedy and the Syrian Sheik. And we know how much you love the Syrian Sheik. I don't like your taste. But we're going to get into it. And he's just jealous that my beard looks better than his. That's a lie. And yeah. dark, it's dark. It, it doesn't matter. Gray and red shows distinction. No, you should die. No. But Rush Kennedy and the Syrian Sheik have a history. And I, and, I, and I don't want to be on the side of Syrian Sheik. But Rush Kennedy did steal a few wins from him. That's because Rush Kennedy is nothing but a piece of garbage, just I like did, you. I did not invite him into my booth. Shit. See, people in AWS do whatever they want to do. I can't get no one like... Kennedy Rush is just a piece of garbage. Yeah, a piece of garbage, I guess. I can't have anyone like Cat Daddy come visit me. He can bring some ladies with, me, with him. You know, I like the ladies. But he'll probably charge me for the ladies. I, I ain't got no money. AWS don't pay me hard enough. But Rush Kennedy and Curtis Black are going at it right now. A lot of eyes on this match. Tata Blaze talked about being the number one contender for the House of Pain Championship. But this right here could be the number one contender's match right here. Irish Whip. Oh, knee right into the gut. But also it's that knee that Curtis Black took out earlier. Oh, he's trying. He's trying to pick him up for a belly to back suplex, but he just could not get it. Irish Whip coming up. Oh, a cutter out of nowhere. A leaping cutter. Let's call that a rush cutter. I'm telling you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Syrian sheep. The Syrian sheep and Cat Daddy have come out. Besides.
Mark Hazard has come out to help Rush Kennedy. Hey, 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 no, hey, wait, 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 right there. You and Hey, right there. Let me confirm something real quick. Commissioner Dixie, the Spider Queen, has come out. And she says she's gonna, she's gonna do something about this. You put your hands on me earlier tonight, and that was your first mistake. Unfortunately, I'm starting to regret my decision to bring Mr. Curtis Black back. You two both have been screwed numerous times because of these two and their interference. So how about I just confirm for the August 28th show, Mark Hazard, Rush Kennedy, faces the Syrian Sheik and Curtis Black in a tag team match. Whoa, the Syrian Sheik and Curtis Black teaming up to face Mark Hazard. Not that I really need his help, because I've already dealt with you and you've seen it. And you, Rush Kennedy and Mark Hazard teaming up to face global dominations, the Syrian Sheik and Curtis Black. I'm hoping I can get a word with Michael King about this. What a match that it was just made. But if Michael King was smart, which he, oh, what a slap from Dixie. And once again, your winner by disqualification, Rush Kennedy.